What would we do with a drunken sailor? What would we do with a drunken sailor? What would we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Way, hey, head up, she rises. Way, hey, head up, she rises. Way, hey, head up, she rises early in the morning. What's up, guys? Seth Brotherton here, head tire guy for Huffman Racing, co-host of Huffman Racing Radio, and arguably the coolest and most attractive member of the Claremont Posse. Um, this is Gunner, my sidekick. So me and Landon were having a business meeting the other day, which if you keep track of us, you know that's bullshit, and we were sitting around laughing because somebody farted. But he decided we needed to make content to keep you guys uh, intrigued as racing season comes to an end. And one of his ideas was for me to vlog my hunting trips. So I don't know if he really sees potential in this or if he just wants to sit on his couch and make fun of me recording myself because I do feel stupid. But uh, we're going to give it a go. So right now we're headed to Dad's to pick up him and the trailer and load up. And we will be headed to Ellerby, North Carolina. And if you don't know where Ellerby is, you're not missing a whole lot, but it is about 10 minutes north of Rockingham Speedway. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Hang with us and I'll record as much as I remember to. And if you guys enjoy watching this, uh, and it goes well, maybe one afternoon I will make Landon himself go sit with me on the property I hunt here near the house and he can experience what it's like to deer hunt because he always wants to talk shit on the podcast about how much time I waste or money I waste or make fun of me for not shooting anything and I think it's time he gets a, a taste of what it's like to go and have less than stellar results and you can bet your ass that I'm gonna wait until it is super cold to make him go sit out there for a couple hours and Maybe after that, he'll understand a little more about what's going on. Yo, man, say hello to Landon's vlog. Hello, Landon's vlog. Uh, we've been here long enough to unload, and now we're going to get our corn feed ready, as RJ says. Me and Gutman's doing some corn feed, and I found something that I really don't like. See, now these things I don't mind at all. I, I don't like them at all. See, I, there's a special place in hell for those. Uh, those things are good to have around. We just got in the stand for the first evening hunt. Looking over this clear cut. Might see something, might not, don't know. What I do know is there are some chicken houses about 700 yards in that direction. And it is ripe in here today. For those of you that may be watching this that don't hunt or don't know anything about hunting, coyotes just fired up over here to my right. Um, to explain what I'm doing, so I'm hunting this clear cut and I can see forever. Deer need three things to survive, food, water, and shelter. And this clear cut provides two of those things, food and shelter, because they'll walk around and eat berries and briars and leaves off of these plants that grow out here. So these deer could literally be laying anywhere out here. And until they stand up and walk around, you're not gonna know it. And sometimes they'll stand up and walk around in a 20, 30 yard circle and lay back down. So it's definitely not easy and hard on the eyes. Thicket down there. It's kind of hard to 
seeing in the video. I get the blur rates too far. Right there he is. Decent little deer, but not big enough to shoot. So, first evening hunt's over. Uh, I saw that little buck, and I don't know if it was him or another deer, but I just got down and started walking out, and one just took off blowing its head off. Didn't know it was down there. Couldn't see it. It's dark as shit. But uh, rifle season starts in the morning. Today was the last day of black powder here in Richmond County. They're calling for rain, and I have a box blind with a roof on the other side of the property, so that's where you will find me in the morning so I can stay dry. Now I'm waiting on Kyle to come pick me up and take me back to my four-wheeler and we're gonna head back to camp and uh, cook supper, drink some ice cold bush light. And yes, you would think being sponsored by High Rock, I would drink High Rock, but if I bring High Rock to deer camp, I will not wake up and make it to the stand in the morning. So that's our plan. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, good first evening. Didn't kill anything, but we saw something. Saturday morning, opening day of rifle in Richmond County. Weather's pretty shitty, not gonna lie. It's like 60 some degrees. Rained all night, cloudy now. Uh, more rain coming, but we're gonna sit here and ride it out till I get hungry, cause I don't come to deer camp to play with my pecker. I can do that at home, so. Hunting a clear cut about a mile away from where I was yesterday. I have a feeling if I see one to shoot, he's going to be like way back yonder. And then you have to decide whether to watch him walk away or throw your nuts up on the shooting rail and hell marry one out across there. Okay, we got more rain coming in like 15 minutes and dad don't want a wet ass and i don't blame him so about to go pick him up we'll go back cook breakfast eat let this rain move out and then we gotta go put corn out and i think we're gonna go to the berry patch and get a milkshake and so hopefully this evening's better once this weather moves out of here and you'll actually get to see something afternoon 4 30 me and gavin just came up the road to another little piece of property that's part of our lease uh, this is the first year we've had this piece so we don't know a whole lot about it but we thought we'd come up here and give it a shot and hopefully we can load the pioneer bed full of big ass deer and have something to skin tonight This evening went a little better. What's up guys? It is Sunday, October 15th. It is a beautiful morning. Cool, definitely bright, because I cannot see a damn thing. Sun's dead in my eyeballs. The only way I'm gonna see a deer down there is if it's doing cartwheels and somersaults or jumping around like RJ when he's pissed off. But uh, as you saw, I shot a deer last night. It's a, a pretty damn good buck. Um, shot him up the road on another little piece of property. The only deer I've had pictures of over there since we got it a month ago. But uh, I didn't get much video because it took us forever to find him. I shot it with two minutes of legal shooting light left. It's pretty damn dark. And uh, couldn't, couldn't tell you which way it ran. I know it didn't fall over. But luckily my camera got a picture of it running off. There was no blood trail. It didn't bleed a drop. Me and Gavin walked around the direction it went and 
couldn't ever find anything and I was about to the point of giving up and I was like, damn, what if he circled? What if he went down the hill and circled back, and did a 180? So we walked that way and sure shit, Gavin walked right up on him. So uh, got really lucky there to find it and I didn't have to go walk around this morning. I got to hunt. So uh, we've got till 930 because that's what North Carolina state law says. And then we're gonna head back and load up and get back to Claremont so I can get everything cleaned up and get that deer over to the taxidermist and continue with my day. That's it for the weekend. No luck this morning. I think Dad saw a couple, Kyle saw a couple. Jake didn't go. So we're loaded up, waiting on Kyle. Miss Daisy's taking forever. Then we're out. We made it back to Claremont. It was a good weekend. Killed a good deer, saw some other deer, drank some cold beer, ate some good food, had a lot of laughs. Y'all didn't really see those because I kind of sucked recording, but this does good. I guess if Landon wants me to do it again, I'll keep doing it. And thank God him and RJ can finally get off my back. So thanks for tuning in. If you hadn't already, hit that like and subscribe button for the Huffman Racing YouTube page. And we'll see y'all next time. Way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises.